everyone. Thank you so much for joining me today. If you're new here, hi, my name is Katie Denor and I teach guitar, ukulele, and voice lessons here on YouTube. If you want the chord chart, you can find that in the cards above and the description box below on my Patreon page. And also, if you like these videos and you find them helpful, make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to let me know you like these videos and you'd like to see more. Today, we're gonna to be learning I Saw Her Standing There by the Beatles. This is part of the Summer Vibes series, a get up and dance kind of feel good kind of music. So the chords we'll need are an E7, A chord, A7, or you could make your A7 this way. That works too. B7, and a C chord. Now the strumming pattern that I'm using is down, up, down, up, up, down, up, down, up, down, up up, down, up. Each down, up, down, up, up, down, up is going to be equal to four counts. This is perfect for this song because there are no split measures within this song. So each chord is going to be held for four counts. So there's nothing funky. It's pretty straightforward. So first, let's start with the verse and then we'll go through the chorus and the bridge together with the strumming pattern. E7. Down, up, down, up, up, down, up, down, up, down, up. She was just 17. Ready? A7. Down, up, down, up. E7. Down, up, down, up. Up, down. Way she looked. Way beyond B7 compare. Oh, E7. something I want to note here that with the I couldn't dance with another woo so when you have that A chord you could easily replace that with the A7 and it would sound just fine so with the I couldn't dance with another you could play it that way or with the regular A it goes by so quickly but I think that you could replace the A with the A7 if you wanted to. I want to note a transition between your E7 and your B7. So here's E7. Keep finger number two here on the second fret of the A string. Now bring finger number one, one string closer to your nose and then find your position for fingers three and four. And that's going to be on the first string and the third string of the second fret. <laughs> Hopefully that helps you navigate the transition between E7 and B7 when you find out that they have a finger in common. Hey, editing Katie here. I forgot to teach you the bridge and then also the ending. So I've got some kids playing upstairs. Enjoy the ruckus. <laughs> They're having a good time. So when, we, when my heart went boom, it's an A7 and we're going to keep that strumming pattern going. And then it switches to a B7, back to an A7. Let's try that. Down, up, down, up, up, down, up, down, up, down. Well, my up, down, up, down, up, down, up, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, up, down, up, down. A couple more times. For the ending, since I saw her standing there, it's really similar to what we've done before. Since I saw her standing there, like that. Really similar, but the ending is going to just change, to, change just a little bit. So we have an E7 first, down, up, down, up, E7, A7, and then E7, down, up, down, up. So there's gonna be a mute on one and two. And, and then we're gonna end on that 
and on that upstroke. So I mute with this portion of my palm right here. Down, up, mute. And then I strum up. So that is the ending. All right, the play along is next and you can hear how everything fits together. One, a two, a one, two. She was just 17. Did you know what I mean? And the way she looks is way beyond compare. Oh, how could I dance with another Ooh, when I saw her standing there? Well, she Hey, thank you so much for joining me today. If you want more guitar ukulele voice lessons, I'm gonna put that in the cards all around me and I hope to see you in the next one. Bye. And then when I have my B7. Hey! <laughs> oh, you're so cute. Baby, baby, baby. Hi. Can you sing a little bit more? Woo! Oh my goodness, so cute.